Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Gamerzitish, and today I am doing a tutorial video on how to make a texture pack on Android slash iOS. Well, I'm on Android right now, but while I'm talking, I'll tell you how to do for iOS. Well, let me tell you now. For iOS, you need iFile, so you have to be jailbroken. So once you get iFile, you go into, like, Minecraft. PE and then you like go to Minecraft something like it's one of those folders and then you look for like the texture pack like the zombie texture pack so that's how you do it for our iOS but once you have done that you want to have like to save it for iOS you have to save the picture and then you go to uh, what's it called once you go to once you save it you want to go to PS touch which will you edit on. but for Android it's much more different so if to make a texture pack on Android you need to have uh, an APK for Minecraft PE 0.9.5 you need an APK so I have this so if you want to copy this I'll let you copy it and so so just look at the link you could pause it and look at the link and get the APK from there so once you have uh, gotten the APK, you want to go to um, when I go to your file manager. I usually use ES File Manager because it's much more better for me, and I get to do more. And it's yeah, it's easier for me. So once you see this APK right here, you want to hold it for ES File Manager, and then you want to um, then you want to go to open. No, wait. Let me see. Yeah, you wanna okay. All right. So you hold it down and then you go to open and then you go to easy es zip. So you see this. So you wanna just get the assets, but before that, um, yeah, wanna go to the Play Store and then you wanna get this app called Mercator. So I want you to get Mercator right here, right here by Zui Zhang. Uh, so this is how it looks like Mercator so once you have gotten this one you also want to get this other one which you're going to uh, retexture um, the texture pack to retexture you want to get ISO pix pixel art editor so this is what you're gonna use to edit so you see that you're gonna edit with this one so once you have gotten that you can go back to the file manager and then you want to go get the assets and extract it to anyway and before that too you want to go to the mercator apps because it's going to have a there's going to be a file in your file manager once you open it so if i can find it there's a mercator mercator oh that should be in here mercator nope Mer all right, it should be right here. So once you get Mercator, once you open that Mercator, you want to go to back to your ES file, uh, your file manager, and then once that's done, you want to put th this assets folder into, um, where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, you want to put it in the Mercator folder. So if I can find it, so it's right here, uh, right here, and so you want to extract it to there, and then. When you go to Mercator, you want to go to, if I can find it again, alright, Mercator right here. If you see this, I was uh, making, trying to make a PvP texture pack with Faithful Texture Pack. And I kind of did. Uh, don't worry about this, this, or this. I could just delete that. Alright, so, you want to create a new folder. So, um, whoa. So you want to create a new folder called input and another folder named output. All right. So once you have made these two folders, oh, whoops. You want to go to assets, images, and then you want to put get if you're going to retexture the items, you're going to need items opaque PNG uh, terrain atlas, all the terrain right here. So once you have terrain, you're gonna go, um, you're gonna move this into, uh, go back to the Mercator folder and then you wanna put in input. 
So once you have put it into input, you then go on to Mercator app. This is where you're going to put this. And then you're going to want to, you see this one? It says Unstitch Terrain Atlas. The TGA, you want to unstitch that. And hopefully there's no error. Alright, there's no error, so I've done it right. So then you want to unstitch that one, and then you want to unstitch items or pack that PNG, which is the one that you've done. So once you have done that, oh, we can do all of that. So once you have done that, you want to go on to, well, I'll show you that. Um, once you have done that, you can go to input, and it's all there. Wait, I already did that. And the unstitch is right here. I mean, so it creates a new folder for you when you unstitched it. So once that's done, um, then... This is where you're gonna retexture this stuff. So once you have gone to uh, Isopix, go on Isopix as you see, and then, um, let's find an item that we can retexture. So uh, let's load the image, and then okay, okay. So we can go to Unstitch, and then you can go to Blocks, Items. All right. So um, let's say I wanna. Uh, retexture the cake so this is how the cake would look like and if I wanted to retexture the, the like the whatever the like so there so I have this kind of color that I want so this is where you're gonna retexture the texture pack so you're gonna like it this is where it goes so when I get put like that 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 this is just an example and then you want to like or if you want to retexture it so like if i want to um put this cake into like kind of like bluish and then i press okay and then i could like outline it so let's outline this to be like a kind of cake okay almost there 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 oh shoot and then so once you have done retexturing it so i just did that so once you've done retextured the thing you want to go to file and then save the image and then save and then you're gonna uh okay because it's gonna overwrite so i will show you it so you could exit out of that and then you can go back into here, and then you want uh you can put uh stitch it back up. It it's, when it says oh no, is everything broke? It's alright because it says restitching successful right after, and stitch items. So once that's done, you can get out of that, uh, and then you can go to ES File Manager or your File Manager, and then you uh go to out uh, output. And then you go here, and then you're going to move this to uh, assets and images, and then you're going to paste it in there. And then you see it's in here. So once that's done, you can then um, you can compress it. So let's say test TP. So you can do that and press OK. And then it's going to retexture it. So once it's done... Um, yeah, so then we can look at it on MC, uh, you get, and then you need block, uh, what's it called? You need Block Launcher Pro to, alright, it's done. But you need Block Launcher Pro, uh, to, uh, put the texture pack on, or it will not work. So you go on the launcher, uh, um, uh, what, I can't, uh, you go on the launcher, whatever it's called, well, you go on launcher options, and then you go to texture pack and then you want to select it and then you go to all the way to Mercator which it, you save the thing to and then wait oh yeah and then you put uh, test TP you go back and then you can go into here and then let's create a, let's create a test TP world test TP and then you creative and yeah so once that's done you can check out the cake that you have made 
Oh, it's right here, the cake. And then you see that the cake is retextured. And you have retextured the cake. But for some reason, it's not showing on the cake. Uh, it's probably because you need to do the terrain atlas. But I don't know. But that's just the item that you can retexture. And then, yeah, so you can just eat the cake. But it just shows it in the item menu. Uh, you just need... For some reason, it's not because this one in your hand looks like a circular instead of a square. So, yeah. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and like making texture packs. And I hope this was very helpful to make this texture pack, a uh, tutorial texture pack. So, make sure to share this to your friends and make a live texture pack, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, guys, peace out. Bye.